Hi, Lou. Yeah, the, the appeal to living here in Southern California, we've got beautiful weather, awesome sunshine all the time, and yet a lot of us forget that we are living among wildlife. A lot of those animals have been pushed out because of more and more development, meaning a lot of them are now having to enter into more urban areas, crossing in dangerous uh, positions along freeways and along roadways that are very busy, and a lot of them have died because of that. Now, more recently, last month, you might remember the mountain lion that was killed killed after being hit by a car along Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu. According to the National Park Service, it was an adult male that had just been named P-104 and fitted with a GPS radio collar in the Santa Monica Mountains. Now, he became part of a Puma study to determine how they survive in fragmented and urbanized habitats. P-104 was the 25th mountain lion to be killed by a vehicle since the study started in 2002. Now, more recently in Riverside County, where we are today, if you've headed towards the Coachella Valley or Palm Springs. The road there along the 60 freeway is long and narrow, and it snakes through the Badlands where there is quite a bit of wildlife. Now, crews there are working to widen the 60 freeway in both directions, but part of that multi million dollar project was also building two under crossings to allow animals to get to the other side of the freeway safely. Now, those finished about a year ago, and officials say so far it's been a success. The crossings have been open while we were doing this project. We got it, got those uh, built about a year ago. We have cameras there, so we, we've seen uh, they're, they're being used. They're built in a way they're 20 feet high, 20 feet wide, allows natural light in so the animals will actually go in there. We've built two under crossings for, for wildlife, mostly uh, bobcats and coyotes have been using it. Now take a look at these images. There are some of the animals captured using those crossings also in Riverside County. There's a multi-species habitat conservation plan which uh, with land being purchased to help protect 146 species across 500,000 acres of land. So lots of things happening right now to help uh, survive or help those animals survive. Now coming up a little bit later on at five, we are going to have the full story why researchers say this is long overdue. That's the very latest here in Riverside. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby